Thank you, and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is a conversation with a members of the delegation from the state of Lagos in Nigeria. And of course, we have with us to uh, talk about this delegation and some of the things that have been done uh, since they arrived here, uh, Dr. Adrius, who is with the Ministry of Health uh, in the uh, state of Lagos in uh, Nigeria. And of course, uh, with uh, Dr. Idris is uh, Dr. Fashawe, uh, who will also give us some information about health in Nigeria. And of course, Dr. Idris and uh, Dr. Fashawe, let me welcome both of you to uh, the show this morning. Thank, Thank you very much. And Dr. Idris, to tell you and uh, Dr. Fashawe how indeed glad we are to have you here. And we know that uh, you've been involved in a number of things over the last eight or 10 days since you came to uh, the state of Tennessee. Uh, from Nigeria and uh, we also know that this was a very very important uh, meeting and we want you and uh, Dr. Fashaway to uh, give us some information but first of all before we get started let's have you to give uh, Dr. Uh, Idris to give us some information about your background your education and some of the things that were important in terms of eventually leading you to the permanent secretary of the uh, Ministry of Health and uh, Dr. Fashaway will do the same thing in reference to her career and then we'll have an opportunity to talk about some of the real issues of health uh, in uh, Lagos, Nigeria. Yeah, thank you very much. <clears throat> um, I'm a medical doctor by profession. Mm -hmm. I had my uh, medical education principally from Nigeria, University mm -hmm. of Lagos College of Medicine. Mm -hmm. And I came here in 1980, 82, 81 to do my master's in public health mm -hmm. at Yale University. Mm -hmm. I stayed here up till about 1999 when the Democratic new de democratic dispensation came to government and the Lagos State government uh, was created. The governor invited me as a permanent secretary. Mm -hmm. And I decided to go back to Nigeria actually just to contribute my quota to the development of the state. Mm -hmm. And so you're really involved in uh, medicine at, at, at perhaps the highest level uh, in uh, Nigeria as the uh, permanent secretary for the uh, Ministry of Health. Uh, now, the Ministry of Health, when we say the Ministry of Health, exactly wh what are we saying here, uh, Dr. Idris? Well, the Ministry of Health, basically, it's one of the departments, that we call them departments here, departments of, it's the Department of Health in, in Lagos State. The mm -hmm. um, Lagos State government, we have about um, 18 ministries, mm -hmm. and health is one of them. Basically, we handle all health-related issues. Mm -hmm. The ministry itself uh, is, is divided. We have uh, an administrative head, the Commissioner for Health, um, and I'm next to it. Mm -hmm. I have another colleague who is a permanent secretary but handles the hospital uh, the management board. Mm -hmm. Basically, the ministry handles policy matters, regulations, and uh, monitoring and evaluation. Mm -hmm. also, also, we do monitor, I mean, carry out some programs mm -hmm. which we feel are really health related, especially addressed to the poor. The Ministry of Service is administratively divided into about eight directorates, mm -hmm. six of which are technical and two support. What I, when I mean support, I mean accounts and uh, financial administ administration. Mm -hmm. And apart from that, okay, each director, the other six technical divisions carry out different programs mm -hmm. depending on uh, mm -hmm. what your assignments are. Mm -hmm. They're basically technical. I don't, I don't know whether you want me to go into details of that. Mm -hmm. Now, the other permanent secretary is also under the commissioner handles the hospitals, basically hospitals, hospital matters, hospital administration. And under her, you have the 19 secondary care facilities mm -hmm. and one tertiary. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you want me to give you this, the, give you an idea of what the health system is like in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Basically, in Nigeria, we run a three-tier system. Mm -hmm. And all levels of government have their various responsibilities assigned. You have the federal that handles, basically, policy matters at the federal level and uh, oversee the tertiary care facilities. Mm -hmm. The state government has responsibility for providing secondary care, uh, health care, mm -hmm. then oversee the local government, mm -hmm. uh, local government affairs, especially more like supervisory, supervisory capacity. Mm -hmm. uh, the local government handles the primary health, I mean, that's the primary care level, mm -hmm. basically, and that's just, that's just the, the first the first contact of an individual uh, negotiation to the health system. Mm -hmm. Very good. And of course, uh, Dr. Fargeway, uh, what we're doing, we're making preparations, I would imagine, within the next uh, minute for our uh, first commercial break, which is to say we'll have a, 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 a minute break between this, and then when we come back, we'll have you to give us basically, uh, from your perspective, 
the same kind of information uh, that, that Dr. Idris has given us, uh, pointing out uh, your responsibilities and uh, the uh, people that you interact with. I understand that uh, you uh, have been involved in the uh, Ministry of Health for quite a while. Uh, 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 and, and so we want to talk about that uh, as soon as we come back. And of course, we'll be back with uh, our audience uh, following this very, very short uh, commercial break. The topic.